Hello everyone, it's Bebop the 07 here and welcome back to, I say back to, whoopsies because I've tried recording this episode multiple times, but welcome to Wolf Quest 3, the anniversary edition. And this is going to be a series with our wonderful, wonderful? Okay, it's okay, I can talk guys, I promise. But this is going to be a series focused on the wonderful Merlin from the Elements Pack, an event pack that my friends and I did to celebrate the release of Wolf Quest 3 and to build some hype for it. So I am, I'm really pumped for this, but if you guys are interested in finding out a little bit more about Merlin and his siblings, please check the description down below. I'm so sorry if you hear that plane, and I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of meows. My cat Taco's been very whiny lately because she's not allowed in the living room and she is not happy about that. But uh, yeah, before we really get into the video, I just want to say you should definitely check out the Elements Pack and get some history behind these wolves. Check out all the other uh, YouTubers in the description, they do Wolf Quest content as well. And while my friend Tegan was not a part of the Elements Pack, he also has streamed Wolf Quest a couple times and they were pretty entertaining to watch. So check him out too. But yes, okay, and now on to the actual thing. Before I really get too into the story of this, I do have to make a little announcement. I don't know how many of you have read my community posts on this or how many of you have followed my Twitter, but my mother recently was sent to the hospital and she had to have a surgery. Because of that, things have been very chaotic and while she is home now and in recovery and things are starting to get a little bit of a groove again, it set me very off course from my original scheduling and setup. And so because of that, I decided that on Tuesday, I'm going to start a week, week and a half long break. So there will not be any videos after Monday and I'm going to do my best to make sure that there is not only Wolf Quest video today but there is also one tomorrow to kind of at least send the break off with a bit of a bang and also so you guys get an introduction to the wonderful Wolf Merlin and his story and so that it's just not left in the background because I really want to play with him and I really want to check out Wolf Quest. I've been enjoying playing it in my test runs. But yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that it's been very chaotic and I'm going to take some time off to kind of reciduate and reorganize because it was very unexpected and it, it definitely um, kind of threw a wrench into things. But yeah, so anyway, Merlin, let's talk about you a little bit before we continue on with our wandering. Merlin is a very interesting wolf. He's actually very relaxed and easygoing. He doesn't really take many, he doesn't really take things personally. He just kind of does as he does. You know, he just, my favorite phrase to use with him is go with the flow. He goes with the flow. He just kind of follows wherever the wind takes him, which again, I think is funny because his brother Zephyr and him were very close in the elements pack and <laughs> Zephyr represents wind but he he's very much just is he going i don't know he looks at life and just kind of takes it in he doesn't get too hyped up about things he doesn't get too like obsessive or freaked out he's just very laid back and he just kind of he just doesn't take things personally and he is going to be a very fun wolf to play with because I'm somebody who, I mean, while I don't really take things personally or like that, I definitely can get a little bit stressed or high strung or an like anxious and just worried. And so kind of being able to come into a game where I have my main character, the main character is just so laid back and just doesn't freak out about anything really and just kind of enjoys life and is very funny and silly. And we're going to go ahead and have him sleep because apparently he's sleepy. But it's gonna be very nice for me. I will say when I recorded that first episode attempt, and oh, it's raining, it felt very good, I guess you could say. It, it, it was very relaxing to play as him, and so I'm hoping that maybe, while there will be exciting things, I'm sure that this is honestly a more peaceful playthrough that can kind of just be something you guys enjoy with me. But let's go ahead, let's take Merlin. He'll, not to mention, oh, targeting are we near someone i can what are you why am i targeting you oh you're bunny okay <laughs> 
So, looks like Merlin, his instinct said bunny. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yes, I, I actually am a bit hungry. So let's eat up that hair right there. There we go. There you go, Merlin. Let's fill up a little bit. And looks like there's another one. You know, I have to say it was pretty funny when I was first playing this. Uh, well, not when I was first playing this, but when I was playing as my test wolf, Katie, I kept finding an abundance of snowshoe hairs. There is a grizzly bear somewhere around here. Oh no, we are not having a repeat of this. <laughs> not a repeat of this, my friends. Um, where would that elk herd be? We do need to hunt some elk, so we're gonna have to... I mean, there are some dispersal wolves down that way too, but you know what, we can't really... We won't really be able to meet up with any for a while, so it would be best if we try to find our elk but for now, let's just kind of casually wander around and see what we can do. But yes, yes, the grizzly bear. At the end of my second attempt video that I was actually really happy with and I wish I could have shared with you guys, because this is try number three, four. There's some lag of the game right there. But at the end of it, a bear just stood behind us and was just watching us like Slenderman in the background, just like, hello, I might eat you. I don't know yet. And it was really freaky. <laughs> it just startled me. It startled me so much. I just saw something kind of standing. It was on its two, its hind legs. That made it so much worse. But, um, so is there like, what's this blue? Is this blue still, it's still a grizzly. I, oh, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. Is there an elk herd scent anywhere? I know that there was an elk carcass. Ah, there we go. Seeing some purple. Let's go ahead and catch up. Now, what would this be? An elk herd, huh? Raspberry herd. All right, Merlin, it looks like we want to go this way. Maybe? I mean... Where did... You guys are coming from this way, I believe. Perhaps. It looks like there's a lot of snowshoe hairs, but let's get up here. Oh goodness, sometimes the controls are still a little baffling for me. No, it looks like they're still coming from this direction. So let's go ahead and go over here. I mean, I guess the further we go down here, the more we'll see. Yes, there we go. But Merlin, how do you feel about this area? You know, I definitely think he'd be enjoying the rain. I think he's definitely the kind of wolf who would enjoy a little bit of, you know, getting a little bit wet. I think he'd love to swim. And just, you know, enjoy the peace of the water, the steadiness of it. Oh, I saw a scent for a cougar. Now, see, Katie, my other wolf, got in a fight with a cougar because she's very stubborn. Um, and she just was not appreciative. We're looking up here. Now, where? Looks like we want to keep going down this way. I'm still seeing more of the, the scents, so let's keep going this way. Hopefully, we'll run into some elk and we'll be able to complete that first quest today. If not, we'll at least make part of it done. But yeah, let's see. So, Merlin's just kind of casually running along, taking it in, looking at the wonderful trees around him. And you know, I have to say, I really do like how it looks in scent view as well. I know there's no coloring or anything like that. Oh, goodness. Oh, and there's... Please tell me there aren't actual moose around here. Those guys are so scary. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Now where? Looks like it's still this way, you guys. And there's a carcass not far from here. I want to be careful because I don't know if we're going to run into another. Oh, that's mule deer. Okay. And it looks like we're still headed in the right direction for an elk herd. Uh-oh. Well then, I'm seeing some dispersal wolves right there. You know what, my guys? I have to go this way. It's alright. No stresses, Merlin. No stresses. If they want to play, they can play with us. <gasps> Is that elk right there? Or is that a mule deer? Wait a gosh. For the, wait a second. Wait. Oh, wow. Are you a fox? Are you a fox or a stranger wolf? Wait. You look really pretty. Oh, it's a, oh, a mule deer. You know what? You can go ahead and have that. I need to go onward myself and find my... Now, where did that... 
I need to find my... Where did that elk herd go? There are a lot of scents wafting this way. And I know those guys are in a little bit of a battle. But where do we want to go, Merlin? I mean, I suppose we could try to hunt a mule deer, but I think we have to kill elk, which is unfortunate. I really wish we could just take down a couple of any deer um, and that it would count. But I'm not seeing any more scent markers for the raspberry herd. Just, it looks like there's, yeah, some male dispersal wolves over this way. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could just sit here and see if perhaps it would come about. But you know what, Merlin? Maybe this means you should go hunting some mule deer instead. So it might take us a little bit longer to complete that quest. Hmm. We'll have to see. But you know what? Let's just go as we go. There's a mule deer around here. I think there's a dispersal wolf that was chasing it. Oh. Oh, I see you. Are you a fox? Are you a fox right there? Hello, or are you a coyote? You look like you might actually be a coyote. Would you mind if Merlin joined you in your hunt? We're gonna go ahead and help you out, my friend. Let's go ahead and take this deer down. And you know what, I did learn a thing from watching my friend Tegan stream, and I found other ways where you can, other places to bite them, which I did not know about. So that was very helpful. Um, looks like we're gonna take this mo- Mo? Mo mule deer? <laughs> this- I don't know why mule is so hard for me to say. Oh, That was a little bit of a glitch, my friend. But let's go ahead and let's eat from this carcass. But, when you can't have elk, we can always go for something else. And it looks like an opportunity for food presented itself to Merlin. So he decided to go ahead and take advantage of it. And I'm very tempted to sleep here, but part of the reason why I hesitate is because every time I've slept by a carcass, there's a carcass confrontation, and I don't know if we really want to sleep just yet. I feel like maybe if we keep going on an adventure, we could find our elk herd. I just don't know where to look. It's kind of... Hmm, I guess that's okay. We did get our first kill. I suppose we should go stand proudly by our kill for a bit and just admire his skills wherever... Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm all, I already lost it. But let's go ahead and let's... Come on, Merlin. Let's... No, no, no. Ooh. Let's... Can I get rid of that bitey symbol? No, Merlin. I want a good picture. Oh, my goodness. You are very difficult to move around. <laughs> okay. Let's, there we go. Look at you and your proud, proud self and your, your wonderful little kill there. <laughs> ah, looks like a coyote is coming this way. Hmm, honestly, I don't think Merlin minds too much. He's already got his adventure that he's gotta go on. We'll leave that little snowshoe here for now. He's kinda busy, we're kinda busy. It looks, a boar grizzly? Wait, what? Boar grizzly, what? What does a, what, what? You know what Merlin, perhaps we should not go that way. So let's go ahead and follow along with these scent views and maybe give it a some time. Boar grizzly, a boar grizzly? What does that mean? Is that like a bigger, is that like a super scary grizzly? Oh no, 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 no. And it looks like we're actually getting a bit tired, so we're gonna go ahead and have our second sleep. Oh, that's scary. A boar grizzly. I didn't know that was a thing. Why is that a thing? Can it not be a thing? That sounds scary. That sounds really scary. Ah, <sighs> looks like it's almost day. Having a little bit of a snooze. I have to say, I love how shiny he looks. Merlin, you're so shiny. You're like a star. Or you like stars reflecting on water if we want to go there. All right, Merlin. Let's go ahead and go back into scent view. Oh, the elk herd. Yes. 
Yes, we want to go this way, you guys. Perhaps we can actually take down our very first elk in this episode. And if, what was that? I know there's a grizzly over here, but I need that elk. Oh, that scared me. <gasps> there they are. Okay. We're going to kind of sneak over. Oh my gosh. We're doing a little bit of a sneak, you guys. A little bit of a sneak. I still, it still looks kind of silly how they look. I mean, it still looks kind of silly how they look. It still looks a little bit silly, the sneak view, to be honest. It looks a little bit itty bitty teeny tiny ridiculous. But we are here with the herd. I only see one. Oh, they're running. Might as well just go ahead and chase after them, Merlin. Oh, getting a bit of lag there. Y moose? No, I'm not hunting a moose. What are you? Oh, you're a, you're a mule deer. You're not what I want. Hang on. <laughs> Wait a second. I got confused. Where is my... Oh, there is a moose. I don't think we want to... But do we want to take on a moose? But do I want to take on a moose? I mean... You know what? There's elk herd over here. So let's... <laughs> I, I was really close to taking on that moose, but I think Merlin has a, another mission in mind. Because right now, I really want to get him a mate. So let's go ahead and let's get out of scent view. We found the elk. Oh, I'm excited. We're gonna do, you know, let's just, let's just go. All right, Merlin, let's have some fun. We're gonna lock on to the first one here. Ooh, ooh. For a second, I thought that bull elk was really gonna get me. Ow. <laughs> Hang on, Merlin. Gotta hold on for dear life, buddy. It looks like the other deer are actually keeping this one from really getting a good grip on me. So we're gonna try to grab from here. I have found that you do a lot more damage when you're grabbing from this point. So we're gonna just hold on for dear life and try to take this cow elk down despite the lag that we are currently experiencing. Oh my goodness! Merlin! <laughs> you're having a little bit of trouble there, my friend. Oh my goodness. He... <laughs> he just won't let go. Okay. Oh! 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 Merlin! I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. That that bull elk just showed up out of nowhere. Goodness, you're like really taking a lot of hits, my dude. We've almost got it, and we got the first one. So despite the lag and a bull elk th throwing in and catching us a couple times, we actually managed to take down a elk carcass. An elk carcass? Um, I said that weird. And so we've got. We did that. Okay, we did that. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take down another one. Why not? What are you? Ooh, space, right. I'm sitting here trying to click. You gotta space. You gotta space it out, my friends. Let's try to get you at a better... Ooh. Ooh, you're fighting me. Ooh, my goodness. Let's see if I can't get a better grip on you, Merlin. Oh, the lag. Oh, how wonderfully terrible. But we're going to see if we can't take down another cow elk before this episode ends, you guys. So in the next one, we can focus on finding ourselves a mate. Oh, I would really like to get Merlin a mate. I'm just very curious about the whole system of it. Oh, goodness. You're so speedy. When did you get this fast? Since when? Since when, Merlin? Okay. Almost. We've got him almost halfway. We are going to have to go ahead and let's just walk for a little bit and try to keep an eye on this one. There we go, because we had to build up our stamina again. It'll be interesting when they bring in a stat system so that I can kind of adjust Merlin's stats, because he's not normally this speedy. He's definitely a lot more of a powerhouse, but he has a lot of stamina. So his stamina, is, he could basically um, run endlessly previously. So I kind of want to bring that back. You're getting hurt a little bit, my dude. A little bit there. We're definitely going to have to rest. And... We did it! Oh! Yes! We have learned the basics. And now we want to find a mate. So Merlin, you just followed the wind. You found yourself the elk herd. I am full. 
So I know we normally don't sleep around a carcass, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna snooze you guys, and then we're gonna finish out the episode. I know it might not have been too exciting, but I'm kind of really happy. I was so close to attacking that moose. I was so close to attacking that moose. Maybe next time, because Merlin does kind of just, he kind of just, you know, he goes with whatever he feels like, with whatever the world seems to point him towards, so. <gasps> um. Um. <laughs> um. You know what, guys? I'll see you in the next episode. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, but I got to be bopping on out of here, and I will see you in the next one. Sorry for the plane. Goodbye. Goodbye.